What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Squad Builder Showdown, where I am very pleased to announce that thanks to your guys' support, we have re-signed for another year to keep FotMob as the official partner of Squad Builder Showdown. And to celebrate, we are doing a giveaway to you guys. You can win a national team's jersey of your choice from the teams that are competing in the Women's Euros by going to FotMob, click on the more screen, go to redeem a code, and type in AJ3W. It'll bring up a Google Doc, just pop your name and an email address so that the guys at FotMob can get in contact with you if you win. And one of you will win a jersey of your choice from the Women's Euros to celebrate. There's loads of Women's Euros stuff going on on FotMob as well. Their coverage for that tournament is the same level as for major men's tournaments as well. So we've got the news, we've got the teams, we've got the in-game stats, we've got the tables, we've got everything that you could possibly want to follow along with the Women's Euros. So the link, if you don't already have FotMob and want to get involved in that and having a way to track all of the footy news and info that you guys could possibly want the link to download FotMob is in the description obviously you need it to then be able to enter the giveaway as well so go and get involved in that and you can also enter my predictor league as well for the women's euro so get involved have some fun we'll be doing one for the premier league season as well just go on there predict what you think is going to happen join the league i'll pop a link to that down in the description too and it's just a little bit of fun so get involved download FotMob if you don't already thank you so much for the support from FotMob and yourselves so i really do appreciate it and i hope one of you well one of you will win the giveaway i say good luck to all of you but only one of you is going to be able to win it but go and get Involved. Redeem that code, AJ3W, and you can win yourself a national team jersey of your choice. Thanks for all the support. Let's get into the video. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are doing a squad builder showdown on the incredibly expensive and now a central player. So you can play him camp. We're going to play him at striker, Marcus Rashford. What a player this man looks like. And I was actually watching James. FG. Packed him. Okay, I was going to say, you need to give me more. It's like just watching FG is a bit of a weird Well, sentence. I'm a man who likes to watch FG. He's got a pretty entertaining stream. But no, I was watching the stream last night, and he packed Rashford, and he yes. played in game, and he looks mental. Like, FG is terrible at FIFA, and even he was <laughs> making Rashford look good in Foot Champs. I mean, Rashford last year was like that the broken card that everyone wanted to use. Do you remember? He, it was really expensive, even though his normal card was like, I can't remember, it was 84 rated or something, because he was just really, really good in game. Now, he's got this, which if it's... It just can't not be really, really good in game. Yeah. Look at the stats. 99 pace, 96 dribble, 97 shooting five stars is crazy good. Two and a half mil, which in the grand scheme of things, yes, is mental, but also is actually kind of cheap. What a stupid sentence that is. I mean, he's got very good links. He links to Ronaldo. He links to all the other English, you know, Prem players. You've got like the Jack Grealish, Shapeshifters, the Jamie Vardy moments card that's just been released. Team of the season, Harry Kane. Team of the season, Phil Foden. Like he's very easy to link and obviously a lot of people build Prem teams. And he's not 14 mil. Well, exactly. I'm surprised Which he's not is a surprise, to be honest with you, when you see that, you know, the Ginola does look very good. But come on, EA, up the pack weight, would you? Well, I think a lot of the cards suffer from hype rather than in-game playability, if that makes sense. I think, he, I think there are a couple on the market for a 12 mil. 12 mil? Oh, that's a... Oh, there we go. 10.99. Oh, mate. Bargain, mate. Absolute bargain. Yeah, it is kind of mental. I seen, I think it was Boris tweeting that he didn't even know this guy was until last year, which is a bit mental. Like, I, I know he's not what was, but he did used to play for Everton. But anyway, and he's now <laughs> the best card in the game. Loads of... Football Twitter people were applying to Boris, calling him a FIFA nerd because he didn't know who Ginola was. But whatever. The point is, David Ginola is not the best footballer ever, and he's now the no. best, most expensive card on FIFA. That is kind of mental. Yeah, I mean, I won't lie. I am in the didn't know who he was camp. Never Fair. heard of him, really. I, I think I probably just... only knew who he was because of it. he played for Evan. Yeah. Not very well, but he's a bit of like a <laughs> streets will never forget kind of player. Okay. Was he the greatest player of all time? Probably not. Was he like really good at skills and scored mental goals and stuff like that. Yeah, so the streets will never forget. So a bit like Tony Hibbert? Mm, no, Tony Hibbert's a meme. Like, he was actually good. <laughs> a bit like... Slightly better, but Adel Tarapt is a streets will never forget footballer. No, no, no. Do you know actually who's a really good one? Ben Arthur. Go on. Ben Arthur's a... Yes, Ben Arthur's Absolute. a good one. That guy used to score screamers from yeah. free kicks for Hull. Exactly. That guy. Oh, oh, what was his name? It was like El, El Mohammed or someone. Is it that guy? It's not that guy. I don't think so. Anyway, yeah, he's kind of like one of them, but a little bit of a tier above. So he's, yes, he was very good, but he wasn't the best footballer ever. And yeah. it's fun, but at the same time, like this Rashford links to Alan Shearer, the Premier League's all-time top goal scorer, and his prime moments probably costs 56k. Yeah, I do I do feel like it's a bit weird that way around. Like Alan Shearer is probably, arguably the best ever, definitely top five best Premier League strikers ever. 
but in the game, he is like one of the worst icons you could possibly get. I was taking the piss. <laughs> is you, there is genuinely a bid on his icon card for 76k, oh, yeah. and it's about to expire. It's his prime moment. Yeah. It's just not very good in this game. I don't know. It feels a bit, like, unfair, unjust. FIFA 23 is just around the corner, and then it's mm. becoming EA Sports FC. And we've actually got some other games that are coming out to rival it as well, which is going to be very interesting. I'm hoping that kind of creates a bit of competition. I mean, it needs it. God knows it needs it. But I, I do... I understand where EA are coming from, because the whole point is to make a fun game. Yeah. And yet there's nerds like us being like... It's like the F1 game, innit? Like, the whole point of the F1 game is to be a video game, and it's fun. And, like, Forza and Need for Speed and stuff. And, yeah, it's not particularly realistic, but it's fun. The F1 game tries to be, like, pretty realistic. But at the end of the day, it's a video game. Like, it's meant to just be fun. Whereas there's iRacing, which is, like, proper simulator levels. And I think there's quite a hardcore community of FIFA players who are crying about a video game because it's not the iRacing of football, if that makes sense. You keep saying iRacing, but in my head, all I can imagine is two people like, trying to read a book as fast as they can. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's Good. Just, just like, you know, the eyes just darting back and yeah. forth. That's the only thing I it's kind of like COD versus armor. Do you know what armor is? No. Armor is the thing that spawned Daisy, which spawned PUBG. Okay, like, like Battle Royale. So Daisy Royale. was a mod for armor because it's like a super okay, yeah, realistic yeah, yeah, yeah. warfare thing. And it's like, oh, do you know what I'm going to do with my Saturday afternoon? I'm going to lie on this hill for an hour and a half with a sniper yeah. and do nothing. To be fair, though, those are good days. And it's like actually like properly yeah, yeah, realistic. Okay. But normal people just want to play COD. And yet it takes 14 bullets with a massive like machine gun to kill someone. Mm. But it's fun that way. It'd yeah. be really boring if you just shot them once. That, that was the yeah, end of Surge and Destroy. Yeah, exactly. So... I can see where EA are coming from, but I would quite like to have, like, Alan Shearer be usable. Be able yeah. to just play slightly different football. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that was a big tangent to start the video. Harry, make sure you do the timestamps so people don't cry in the comment section. And they'll be able to skip to this point where I'm going to say, James, what formation would you like? Oh, put on the spot. Uh, let me give a quick cycle through these and I'll stop on... This one, 4334. Okay, well, at least you didn't pick 3142. Go and check out James's video for that moment of madness. Picked, yes, picked by himself. He chose it. <laughs> God knows. I am going to play my Rashford up front with a strike partner, and I'm going to gamble on 4312. Oh! I was about to say something really stupid, like, um, you know, the numbers add up to the right numbers, but that's just because yes, that's, that's number of players <laughs> that have to be in the team. Uh, I wrote 442. Because their numbers do add up to 10, to be fair. Exactly. I mean, I so do wrong. mine. I wrong. Irrelevant. I've opened some packs, James. I've given you a bit of insider info here because I very much have run out of coins again. Not anymore. It's a very sad thing. I feel like I need to open packs more often on FIFA. Yeah, pay them more money, mate. Basically. I wish they'd just give me some players to do videos on. Danny stuff, opens but that's... 100k FIFA points every week, the mental case. He Have does, and he has that. He packed that Messi and Ronaldo. Hasn't sold either of them, and then just bought Ginola anyway. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I know. It makes me feel sick. And he packed Rashford and Sane in the same pack yesterday. It's honestly rigged. Can you believe as well that guy did a video saying, "Do EA rig YouTubers' packs?" And then no, they don't. Just, just Danny Aaron's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just him. <laughs> Absolute joker. Yeah, I, I feel like I need to have <sighs> more coins to spend. People accuse me of making stinky squads. Basically, every squad at this point of FIFA is a stinky squad because everyone either costs 40k or 2 mil, and there's yeah. no in between. And I can't spend 2 mil on every position because mm -hmm. that would be 22 mil, and I don't, I'm not Bateson or Danny Aaron's apparently. He's like Danny Aaron's, he's like, he's like Danny Aaron's of hair. He's like Bateson with hair, is what Danny is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he literally is. Like an ADHD version of Bateson. Anyway, oh yeah, I appreciate what people are saying, and I have opened some packs and tried to get some more coins. But at the same time, like, you can't spend That's three million though. coins on every position. It's not feasible. And you do go and pick, like, not Alan Shearer, but, like, he's actually tragic. Like, Wayne Rooney's prime moments or something like that is, like, 200k. And they're like, oh, this is such a stinky squad. It's like, mate, I've just picked prime moments, yeah. Wayne Rooney. Yeah. What do you want from me? Anyway. The other, the other thing about the packs is, really, I opened eight 100k packs earlier, and I got okay. zero walkouts. So it's just not a very efficient, you know, coin-making method. No, it is not. It is very yeah. sad. I opened a lot of packs last night and I packed watched FG pack Rashford I packed Ricken and it also I really wish every time I went into a different menu it didn't tell me about this fuck Cape Town cheaters thing please <laughs> yeah, leave me alone I've loaded the game God's so sake. many times it's like I don't even know where that thing is but I know <sighs> I've got it somewhere Jesus, right. Anyway, let's move on and actually do some squabble the showdown with the striker and cam for me and the left wing and right wing for James. <laughs>
Right then, James. Do you know what's worth more than coins, mate? Friendship. Lame. Sentimental <laughs> value of FIFA cards. Ah. Right, fair enough. Tim Kale, please. Oh, I've, oh, oh uh, I mean, okay. You can start carry on. Uh, I hadn't held my white button all day. Yeah, yeah. I am then tempted to put Richarlison in because he left us, and I'm real sad about it. But let's not get too crazy. Let's not get too mental. What I will do is put in 96 money because I've got coins now, James. 99 pace. Thank you very much. Have you got that many coins? Oh, I got coins. How many coins have you got? He's quite expensive still, I think. 3.1 mil left after buying Rashford. Jeez. I wasn't messing up, open mate. Packs July. Holy Don't worry, mate. Take my money, eh? Holy moly. You can have both of them as well. I was under the impression you were on, on a bit of a budget. You thought I was bluffing you? No, I just I just didn't know how much money you have. But now I know. I'll, I'll arrange my guesses accordingly. But I went for Harry Kane and Bruno Fernandes for this round. Fair. I was a bit unsure of where you were going. Tim Cahill was a sneaky one. I forgot about him. I do kind of wish I did Harry Kane, the SBC one. The top I've got his player yeah. of the month, but that's a bit dead. But the team of the season one's actually quite good, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Don't have it. I did say I was going to do all the SBCs at the start of the year. Yeah, that I didn't mean, last I, very long because they then like. brought out... Well, it lasted a week because then they brought out Play the Month Ronaldo <laughs> at the start of the game. So just shut up, yeah. I'm not doing that. That's stupid. Did I you, tried my best. I also remember, didn't you forget Flashback Pedro? I, well, I forgot a few by accident. <laughs> well, no. Actually, what happened is I was on a streak of doing all of them, apart from Ronaldo, and I just discounted that one. That was intentional, like, fair enough. Yeah. yeah, I deliberately didn't do it because... Yeah, let me, let me yeah, tell you how much it is. 20 minutes later... At the start of the game, he was like 2.3. So, yeah, shut up, yeah, I'm not doing that. That was stupid. But that aside, I was doing every single one. And then I went on footbin and they have the dates like Americans. And I thought I had to like the next day to do it. And I didn't. And phew, missed one. And at that point, I was like, well, missed one now. And I... <laughs> streak's over. Two, yeah. gates, two weeks into the it's game. Weird. I lost over. one. <laughs> See you later. Forgot to do one. Lost my streak. Don't care anymore. Yeah. I feel like next year, I say this every year. I did lots of them this year. Next year, I feel like I should reinvest a little more. I don't look at Harry Kane and think, oh, I'm not spending 500k on that. I think, oh, I've got 10 mil. I'll spend 500k on that. And then top it up with a pack opening, you know? Well, see, I, if anything, have gone the opposite direction. So I have done the vast majority, I would say, of the SBCs, like 85% of them, like actually. Okay. I've realized as I've gone through the year, there are so many cards in my club, which I have never even used once. True. Because I did them and then left them there. And in my head, I went, oh, but I might need him for a squad builder or whatever. But because EA have released a billion promos throughout the year, there's loads of players to choose from. I don't need this stupid team of the season Caprari, so I might as well just put him in an SBC or whatever. Like, sometimes it's nice to upscale your fodder, but, like, a lot of these, like, like the Richarlison shapeshifters. I didn't like Showdown Richarlison. I'm not going to spend 450k on a card that I'm probably not going to like. Mate, that, use act, that Richarlison, the new one, is, like... The best card I've used, by the way. I don't know. He doesn't even play for Everton anymore. I can say that and not be biased. Like, honestly, he's ridiculous. Yeah, but even if that's the case, that money's gone now. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's in the thing and you can't get it back. Yeah, this has been my motto for uh, a few years. Whereas I feel like next year, my motto should just be just do them. Who cares? We'll see. I mean, it's just the clash of philosophies. The philosophies yeah. change. I do, I do get where you're coming from, though, because there is players that are SBCs that you're just like, oh, why, did, why did I do that? But similarly, there's also ones that I've missed out because, like, that Harry Kane, for example, I thought, nah, I'm not doing that. But actually, he would be quite a good player to have. And there's, like, fullbacks in leagues where there's not very many fullbacks, and I forgot to do them and things like Like, Zinchenko would have been such a good pick to have all the time because everyone writes down Cancelo and I could go Zinchenko, forgot to do it. But similarly, yeah, when have I ever used this Mesut Probably not. Yeah, I'd say I didn't even do that one because I was like, never really yeah. use them. It's, it's annoying because the ones that do do are usually good Everton cards and then just discard them anyway. Probably shouldn't bother. <laughs> it's only pain. Yeah. Ooh, anyway, yeah, yeah. tell me some anyway, players, James. On the left side, I'm going to go for a bit of history. A Silver Stars card. Is it a Langer? It is a Langer, but I don't like the way you've acted saying like you, you couldn't remember his name. So, uh, And then on the right hand side, I'm going to go with your boy. Saka. Oh, I put Sancho. That Alanga is horrendous, by the way. No, he's not. He's got a nice very, pace. Very, very bad, mate. Why? Why know, is like he bad? Him. Yeah, because he's a bronze. 74 player. rated, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That is one philosophy I won't change. Doing objectives. Touch grass. <laughs> Both of these are objective cards. <laughs> However, I do have that Alanga from the year in review Silver Stars thing. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I do actually have Alanga, and he is terrible. I don't think he's that bad. Nah, he's terrible, mate. I mean, he's not, he's not, he's not, yeah. It's not good, which <laughs> I guess you can, it's not quite the opposite of good isn't terrible, but, but it's pretty chemistry. bad. Chemistry. It is chemistry. Anyway, yeah. you can have them both. I put Sun and Sancho. Do you know what? I actually don't have any coins. 
on like left really. And I was still tempted to go for Son because I do have him on low. I have so many team of the seasons on low. It's actually insane. I've got, probably should say all of them. I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tots on low. Oh, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten. Ten Premier League tots just on low. I was going to say, that's not very many, James. But then you said Premier League and that's basically all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm basically missing the big ones. But, I've got 60 yeah. games of Manuel Neuer on loan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me see what's the most games I've got on any individual. I've got 35 games on Allison because I think he just wouldn't stop popping up. I think he's probably the most. Oh, and, and I got 35 on Bernardo Silva. Was there a pack where you got them on loan? I think there yeah, was, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I opened loads of them. Well, the thing I think is... I opened loads of them for that one. And then I was like, I can't be arsed doing this again. I've got 60 games on Manuel Neuer. This isn't helping. <laughs> I got 37 on Jeremy Fringpong. But the thing is, if you do just get that one Ronaldo or that one Messi, you've basically saved yourself 300k on tack. This is true to fill in the video, but it does look stinky having the little loan sign at the bottom. It, it does, it does. It is a difficult situation, but at the same time as well, every time I want to use a Premier League Tots, I save on on the tax because I don't have to buy yeah, this card. That's like fair. The number of times you use them throughout the year, it's pretty, it's, it's, it adds up. I get you that way. Doing a marquee player video, it's a bit dead. But yeah, no, yeah, yeah, worth that, I wouldn't. I wouldn't if you're putting Sun into a squad and he costs 700k and then you sell him, you've just lost that's only 35k actually it's not the worst but i guess it's if you do it again and then again and then again yeah, and again exactly. yeah but you know what's so. even smarter using the loan and then getting your nice editor to cover it up with a bit of movie magic so no one can tell until you score with them in game <laughs> terrible terrible person <laughs> let's move on to the midfield before you reveal any more dirty secrets <laughs> Midfield then, Mr. James. Or should I say Mr. Jean? Or maybe your first name's actually It's and your second uh, name is James. That was intentional, yes. They call me James. It's James. James. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm going to go with the what I consider the safest one because it is going to be an icon and it is going to be a lone icon. Good. It's going to be lone Patrick Vieira. Shut up. Not the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can't yeah. do that. You've got no coins. <laughs> yeah, but surely... That is surely I... not legal. No, because if I lose, as long as I don't have to discard Rashford plus Vieira, I can sell Rashford, buy Vieira, sell or discard Vieira, right? Like, there is a way... I can go round it if, as long as I don't. I mean, if I lose everything, I might as well just delete the club. Oh my god! I, I was saying only. Is he a mill? Yeah, he's, uh, no, I know. That's what I mean. He's not even that expensive either. It's mental. He's ridiculous. He's my new goat in the midfield. Not the moment song because I'm not crazy, but okay. yeah. And, and then on the right hand side, I'm going to go for Ainsley Maitland Niles to okay. reunite the Arsenal boys. And then in the middle, we're going to go for El Sharawi. That's very weird, actually, because. Now that I'm a man with many coins. Uh, you can have them all, by the way. I put Solskjaer, Fernandinho, and Robertson. Ah. Because you were talking about doing Solskjaer versus Solskjaer. This is quite funny, actually. I should probably tell... Yeah, let me let me tell the people what happened. James yeah. texted me with an idea <laughs> oh, of yeah. who to do for my squad of the showdown. Well, the confusion started because James said, Oli versus Bid. Vid. And I was like, Vid? He's like, for you. <laughs> planning your video tomorrow. Not much else that's interesting and affordable. And I was like, who's Vid? He's like, Oli versus Vid. And I'm like, yeah, but who's Vid? Who's Vid? <laughs> and I'm literally sitting here on fucking <laughs> like you go to the squad, you ship on ship, you click on shape shift, you're like Janola, Sane, Ricken, oh, Rashford, Lumbe. Oh. I was like, okay, maybe there's an SBC. So I'm like scrolling for the SBC, he's looking for who <laughs> Vid is. Like, is, is it Vidic? Is it Mark Viduka? Is he back? And I'm oh, like, okay, dear. can't see none. Hang on, let me go look at my console. I'm looking on the objectives for this guy called Vid. I'm like, what is he on about? And he's like, oh. no. Do an Oligona Solshire versus Oligona Solshire vid. Yeah. It's an Oli versus vid. Yeah. Because like, yeah. there's one left wing and there's one yeah. cam, so you can have him versus. No. If yeah. only. So I thought you might have him. But anyway, back to my players, James. I also right. want that El Shirawi. Interesting. Now that I'm a man with coins, going to try some of the shapeshifters out that aren't going to be marquee players for Squabble the Showdown. You're going to be playing this extremely attacking El Shirawi at centre mid. Yeah. What I'd can. Okay. Nice. Because yeah. in the middle is going to be his teammate, Spinazola. Spinazola, all right, yeah. 99 pace CDM. And on the other side, I have crossed this predicament, come across this predicament before. Pellegrini. You're like, whoo, he looks quality with his team of the season. Touch grass, Andy, didn't you? So yeah, you haven't you, got him. But 
There's the foot captains on, so I'll have that. And I'll go all Italian, all Roma in the midfield. That is incredibly frustrating because I did not write any of them down. Maybe I would have been on the fence about writing Spinozola, but to be honest, I don't think I ever would have written any of those down. It was like, you're on full chem, basically. Big up Tim just, Kale. Yeah, it's just whatever. And I don't know, I, I couldn't do anything. I wrote down Lucas Paqueta, Kimmich and Fekir. So I just tried to go across some leagues and hopefully maybe get something. But it Fair. It's hard. You were saying off camera, there's too many players in too this game. Too many players. Like I'm looking through pages, of, like, especially when you're on full chem and you can go into a different league. There's like so many people. It's just, it's just impossible. Even when I was looking for yours, I was thinking about just because I couldn't think of what to write down. I was going to stick Freddie Lundberg and then some MLS players down because that's what I would have done if I had your team. <laughs> to be fair, I actually do have Freddie Lundberg's new card as well on load, so I was very <laughs> tempted to do that as well. That's what I would have done. Some stupid MLS thing, but we can both have them all. I'll pick up some new shapeshifter to try out, and let's move on to the fullbacks. <laughs> the fullbacks we go then, James. I have somewhat restricted my own left-back picks by putting Spinozola at centre mid, but you know, we move. Mm. So, I'm just going to jump straight in. I wish I'd have done Emerson. I did not, and I could have moved across to the league earn. I did not. So, I'll just go for Alexandro and his fantasy foot upgrade. And on the other side, there is actually quite a lot of choice for right-back in this area. I'm not going to make the same mistake again and restrict my centre-back options by picking Kalulu here. Oh, I'll okay. just go for Dumfries. <sighs> what you put? I put Audria Zola, Marla. I was so tempted to go Audria Zola. Yeah, I could feel it in your bones. But they're, they're right, like the right back, there are just so many. I was like, shaking my left back a little bit. Who did you put? Marla. I put Marla, yeah. I went a page down because I, I knew you obviously you'd taken out Spinozola. I didn't think you were going to take Hernandez because obviously he is the best one. Yeah. And then it's basically Marla's like a slightly sneakier one, but he's still fast. It's either him or Sandra, really. And then like the others are just like a bit bad. Oh, okay. I was so confused with Jean Ross. Yeah, now I'm with you. Um, I have to be a bit sensible with my picks here because I need to, you know, look forwards a little bit to what I'm doing in the future. So at the right back, I am going to go for Livramento's team of the season because that gets me Kem there. And also he's on loan. Good. Of course he is. <laughs> and then on the left-hand side, I'm going to go for end of an era schmelzer. Ooh, that's jazzy. I put Hernandez because French strong link. And I put Tavernier because sneaky. Yeah, so Tavernier is good because I get... Well, the thing is, I would have been really stuffed with a right centre-back. I would have had to go English, right? Or it would just restrict me somewhat. There is a million of them now, though. There is quite a lot of them, to be fair. But I, I didn't want to... There's about 14 wanna... just for Aston Villa. That is true. That is true. Some of them are quite good as well. I think that Tyrone Mings card is actually good. Mings is good. Twan Zebe is good. Ponce is good. Honestly, there's about <laughs> four million of them just for Villa. Yeah, and you've got Small and Cody, Tamori, Shalaba, Gomez, Stones. Yeah. There's a lot. There is. But now I've got even more because I, I can pick anything. So. Well, there is that. But you do need a strong link to smelt, Sir James. So, you know. Yeah, I do, but... Potential for me to guess players. There's still a lot of players that that could be as well, because it is just German Bundesliga, you know, so there's quite a few knocking around. There's a lot, but it's information. Good. I'm honing in, and I'm going to move on to them picks and hopefully get one, and you can have a cheeky little goalie to mark Kale and Rashford. Yeah. Let's get into it. <laughs> Here we are then, James. Who is your strong link? Now is the time of the video where I say what I think you've written. And it becomes that game of chess where you have to try and think of what I've put down. But then I have to try and think of what you've written so that I don't pick those players and I can pick someone else. But I have to think what you think I'm going to write. Well, so I write someone else who you think I haven't thought. I'm going to pick the two which I think are safe. And then we'll get onto the strong link later. And it's going to be new shapeshifters Voland on one side because he's Voland. a centre back now because he has a very nice perfect link in Nubel. I mean, he's not a great keeper, but he does have an inform and there's almost zero chance you've written him down. I mean, there's literally zero chance I've written him down because oh, look at him, James. He's 81 rated. But gets Ken. Yeah, get Ken. And then I just need a German strong link 
to Schmelzer. Now, if I was Andy, the thing is, I think you've probably written down Jonathan Tarr and Collins. That's who I think you've written down. Or, or, or Collins slash Sula, I'll say. So I'm going to take a big old risk and I'm going to go for the best one. I'm going to go for Emre Chan. Oh, you pain in the ass. That's so close to writing them, but I didn't think you had any coins and you couldn't have got him on loan yet. So I wrote Schlotterbeck, because he's a team of the season you could have on loan. And I wrote a Kanji, because I thought you went stinky Ooh. with the goalie. I thought you might go stinky with the strong link. I've got a 93 centre-back pairing, is what you're telling me. And an 81 rated goalie. Yeah, right. Let's not get into technicalities, right? I put Galachi in goal, because I couldn't think of what to write down. Fair enough. Are you ready for mine? I was looking if there's clever ways to do this. There isn't really. Because, yeah, you could go Dutch right centre-back, Brazilian left centre-back. But unless they strong link to each other, there isn't enough strong links you could get to them to get them both onto full chemistry. If that makes sense. And I, I couldn't find one that was worth doing. That was good. So, I'm just going to go Serie A. And I'm going to kick it off with team of the season, Skriniar. I'm going to go in goal for Mignon. Because I think that's so bad you won't have written it down. And this is the one that I've been dilly-dallying about. I've got this Chiellini, but he's so good. Surely you've written him down just so you don't have to play with him. The man's got 91 pace and 98 defending. It's really ridiculous. I've then got playing with Kula Barley, but he's got a team of the season, so you might have written that down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go similar to your goalie, a little bit further down, and pick a man just because of pace, whereas you picked him just for his links. I'm going to go Ibanez. So I have gone Brazilian Dutch, but... Oh, no, I didn't. I was thinking about going to lift out screen here. But I could have gone Brazilian Dutch, but it would have just been in the Serie A. So it's really bad. I am brain dead. Did you write down Brazilian Dutch? Yeah. Did you write Van Dyke and Militao or something like that? Uh, I wrote down Botman and Dante because I forgot. Yeah, I tried to do Botman because yeah. he's just out for Newcastle. It's topical. And then Marquinhos. But there isn't enough strong links to go around. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot both yours. Because on mine, obviously, the centre-backs only have four links. Yours have got five. And I just forgot. Because I was so fixated on the fact that Spinozola was on full chem. That I was like, okay, you just need a Brazilian and a Dutchman. So I just found one and wrote them down. And I forgot that they needed more chem. And the worst bit is, I was tempted to write Botman and then write Ibanez. But I didn't because I wrote Dante. And then obviously the goalie doesn't matter. I wrote Lafont because I was, didn't... You thought didn't I was like, going... Li 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 I, yeah, I didn't like playing against him last time. So He was ridiculous. His arms are longer than my legs. Wait, I'm, do you reckon your arms are as long as your legs? That's an interesting thing. Sorry? I said Mr. Times New Roman is arms are as long as my legs because he had really long arms. But actually, when you think about it... I, just, I hope you're not going to say what you think you're going to say. People's height is roughly the same as their wingspan. No, shut up. That's true. Did you not know that that's a thing? Okay. Do you know what you're missing out, Andy? Yeah, the bit of your body in the middle. Yeah, the fat but you know what you're missing out for the height, the James? All of your body and your head. Yeah, but what you've done there is you've added two arms and a body. You're trying to compare it to one leg. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Do you know, if you stack 79 cars on top of each other, it's about as tall as a building. It's like... Uh... Yeah, so his arms are about as, t as long as my legs. Because that's really <laughs> long for an arm. <laughs> but actually, yeah, I can't believe you pushed me this far to try and convince me that your arms are as long as your legs. I'm not. No, mine it. aren't. LaFont's <laughs> arms are almost as long as my legs. And that's really long for an arm. Because two arms and a bit of body are the same as one leg and a bit of body and a head. So I think the human being who has the biggest shout at that is probably like Michael Phelps. Because he's got very he's long He's got really arms. long arms. Yeah, it, or like it, rock climbers or something. Well, exactly. But, so they're, obviously the ape, the ape index is a measure of how much longer your wingspan is. Yeah, because your wingspan is your height. height. Yeah. yeah. But it's not to do with <laughs> Yeah, so my tip to tip is like six foot. But then oh. toe to head is also six foot. But toe to head right. includes body and head as well. Whereas this is two arms and my body. So yeah, but yeah. if you stuck another leg on top of it, it'd be so <laughs> Leg, leg, width of my body, you're saying that's... Yeah, so, my original statement that <coughs> LaFont's arms are about as long as my leg is a sensible thing to say because he's got really long arms. And you've got really short legs. Apparently. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I mean, if any of us see him in real life, I guess we'll get the measuring tape out. <laughs> tell you he's got really short legs, actually, but he's actually proper tall. Editor Harry. It's about to occur. No, he's got short legs and he's just short. He yeah. got savaged in that picture, to be fair. That was mean. I mean, he, yeah, in fairness, he stood next to me who are quite tall. Well, he stood next to me, who was the shortest one apart from Kev's well, yeah, there. Exactly, but you can't tell because, you know... He's I was stood next to Kev's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am above average height. It's just yeah. everyone else there is massive. Also, and then poor Kev's yeah. was stood next to everyone. Very sad. Yeah, like Harry's like six foot three. Bates is like six foot seven. But when I stood next to Harry, I mean, like, Joey, top of your pelvis. Mine's like four inches higher than his. He's like 95% torso. <laughs> hey, he buys. Do you know them tops that were in fashion? 
like a couple of years yeah. ago with the, like long fit and it's basically a dress. Harry wears them, but it looks like a normal T-shirt. <laughs> Oh, Harry's mum watches these videos. I'm sorry, oh, Mrs. Phillips. Dude. Shall we just get into the oh. game? <laughs> oh, He's going to sit there at and this, oh, and then all of a sudden he just starts getting savaged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's move on. There is a lot on the line here, James. A lot of loans. Yeah. Yeah, which could still be translated into real money as long as it goes in the Discord. So if I could avoid that, I would be most grateful. Yeah, well okay. done, Manny, mate. <laughs> Good one. He's offside, ref. See ya. Oh, ah! he's got full John Stones. You'll love to see it. Ah, oh, I can't believe it's not gone in. Oh, you're joking me. Oh, you're joking me. Say less about Alanga. Say less about Alanga. I'm sorry. Let's go! It's just gone through Mignon's hands. That was a terrible he shot. He's awful. <laughs> <laughs> My nan couldn't have saved that. See, look, he didn't. Oh, that's a pretty poor goalkeeper, to be fair. <laughs> what do you mean? He's literally whipped it far corner. What nah, do you want to do? Terrible silver players, mate. Informed Moodle would have saved it. What formation are you playing? Because it's really annoying me. Uh, four, three, th three, four, uh, four, three. Does it add uh, up to it, ten? It adds up to ten. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know the one you mean. Oh, Bakaya Saka's an acre. See you later, sunshine. Dink it in. Oosh! Okay, Salanga. I don't know why, but Schmelzer looks like Van der Sar, And I keep thinking you've got a trump card. And it's actually he's, just... Uh, he, he does, actually, now that you mention it. I, I haven't really been paying attention, but he, he actually does. I can see where you're coming from. Oh, it's a golden half. No way! He's 81 rated. It's July. Fine. Oh, oh that was, was out of deflection. I think it must have deflected. Yeah, it just dribbled oh, a little bit. Oh, dear. Wait, he's only 2-0. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, I thought I was getting... Well, I am getting battered, to be fair. <laughs> Genuinely <laughs> thought it was about 3-0 already. <laughs> I've lost my head. It's only 2-0. <laughs> I'll take that. If you drop me 2-0 at half time, mate, I'd have shook your hand. Yeah, I thought I was already losing by 3. Uh, do you know what? Two nil, good off. I thought it was four. No, it's not like expected. Genuinely, me when I honestly, goal. thought you'd scored another goal and you just made it three nil. And it popped up two nil on the pitch. I was like, do you know what? That's sound. I'll take that. I mean, I've had eight shots to your two. Uh, yeah. <coughs> the XG would suggest. <coughs> it's not been a good attacking performance from me. You're doing it wrong. No, please. Oh. I give up. I honestly give up. It just doesn't want me to. I mean, I've had two shots, but it still doesn't want me to <laughs> score. Oh <gasps> my god, this game's a joke. What a save. What is going on? He's 81 rated. I feel like I've shouted that like six times now. What a save. Oh my god, he's actually just... Oh, wow. he's bamboozled the entire defence there. He's absolutely bamboozled wow. the entire defence there. Let me see there. that again. What does he... Oh my oh, god, he just made so He's been through naughty. three of them. That is so naughty. Oh my word. Oh, I thought it was giving what me a stinky is going goal on in this game. I thought oh, I'd just been gifted a stinky God. goal then. I can't believe it's not gone in in the end. I, I couldn't be honest. Wow, you're That's a bad time. friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's a full time! <laughs> Oh, your goalkeeper's 81 rated and named after a peace prize, and he made me so angry. He actually made some incredible saves. I mean, you scored three very good goals. That rush for one at the end was mental, and you scored some of the good goals. But I struggled in the first half. In the second half, I don't know how I didn't score. That new ball yeah. played ridiculous. And he, now, he made two or three, which I was like, oh, he's, oh my God, he's actually He should not be saving that. There was two of them that should have got in. <clears throat> yeah. But I've got three discards instead of one. Very, very scary times. I've got a stupidly expensive team as well. That was so bad. My midfield was awful. Yeah, I don't know what it was. What formation? You had the 4 3 1 2. It's like my favourite formation. Mane didn't even realise he was playing for me. Yeah. His head's already in Bayern and he's still got Liverpool on his card. El Shira, I haven't liked El Shirai at all in this game, to be honest with you, with his other cards, but I thought I'd try this one out because it's mad rated. Nah, it's stinky, mate. Emre Chan and Kevin Volland were actually both, both pretty good. Very solid. Bullied the poor lad. Yeah. I am 
ready, James. Three discards. Oh, dear. Three discards. Left striker. Okay. This is why I don't open packs to get coins, because I just spend them all on Scotland Show and I lose them <laughs> yeah. all again. And I end up back at square one, but it cost me thousands of pounds. <laughs> right <laughs> right centre mid. Okay. And left back. This is why I spend FIFA points, because you get a sick team and don't discard them anyway. Oh. Dom Fries, Alexandro and Pellegrini. Oh. How have I got away? With not discarding at least Rashford, Kale, or Manny. Oh, I really wanted to get Kale. I didn't realise he was on the pitch. <laughs> Diva did I. <laughs> <laughs> Until you just said it and I forgot you had him in your team. And I called my team Rash Ferrari instead of Rash Ford. <coughs> Bloody oh, Rash old banger, mate. He was terrible for me. Oh, right, I'll be back when I've done an SPC. <laughs> I thought it was only right that I put them into the Voland SPC after the performance mm. that that manager just had. He was ridiculous. There they go. They were all turned into fodder. And we've got some cards for us for a squad of the shot. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Go and check out another one over on James's channel. Or if you want to watch another video from myself, you can click here. And YouTube will be ever so kind as to recommend you a video that is suited to you, apparently. It can do that. It's clever. It's there. Click it.